Hello viewers and welcome again to another edition of your favorite program called Talk to the Camera with me Kona Sisei. As plenty of people on the grumble about disaster we can happen at the environment because of the activities of people there, today we can work on the Laka community. Forget for a from the people and what in other understanding about environment protection and also what in some of the disaster that we don't happen at the community. Now we they go forget the people their own views. Hello sir and welcome to this interview. Mina Kona City from Sierra Network. You go please tell your name and whose community where you day. Me na hello madam how are you I do. Me na Aguna Paul Bangua I did live in Alaka community. Alright sir. Um how long you don't live in the Laka community? I don't live now from nineteen ninety two. I think it's about twenty seven years now. So tell me about your experience in the Laka community. Yeah, my experience was in the Laka community as me as chairman uh, in the tourism we do in this community. But unfortunately, uh, uh, the, what the challenge challenges that we face in this community are people like they do sand mining, where they play the environment, and people like they chop big trees, where we say all that things that attract tourism. Because on three days, we able to tell stories and say this tree don't take about 300, 200 years, 150 years. So people like the chop and they cut them. Well, the forest, you know, the, you know, the no forest, they have to say that's not good for tourism. And even the sand mine, you know, they do, it's not good. This is now one of the big challenges of the facing, they make the report to police. And even you know, they take the report they to the Minister of Tourism. So actually, now one of the challenges that we the facing you know, want my government help we greatly in this like our community. Yeah. Right. As chairman, one great thing where people can get involved in certain acts now because of lack of knowledge. So how now don't they do for spread information and give people knowledge out there and say this thing how now they do they destroy your environment? Well, we don't they engage the youth them. Uh, one of them mostly they take this as an, uh, we they sanitize them, they tell them say look. Number one, this stories is yeah, not too good. Some of we in our stories don't make us develop, we don't achieve a lot. And if we will not play this beach, yeah, some of we now will get uh, more, more facility in this beach. We get some of our colleagues out there in which man country, they like to own our tourism. They get with two they come, or they marry, and they go with them. Some of they get a good suburb from this beach. And this beach, uh, I think, are uh, one of the good things all oh, past the sand mining. The sand mining, they put the environment. Even last year, we get a big disaster. We put all the restaurants, they will not be easy for we. We visit some of our colleagues and all get money get for fix their own. Or some of pass to sell their own. Some of my business don't collapse. Some of we pass like a we will they take a loan, soft loan, and some of we, we good friends, they, they help we make hotel like a TOC, they continue business. You, earlier on, you mentioned say Unabi don't make reports to the police about these activities where people they do, right? Yes. All right, so what did Unabi then respond so far? Well, the police, uh, you know, so you go call them, some of them go come, they go make the arrest. They go arrest the people, the youth, them, some of them. But at the end, they left. The police say uh, the problem at this country, the law not effective. This they make people they always they challenge the law because the law, for the law, they discipline people, they go make, next people they go free, the law not go to them. Because there's a lot of people there, um, oh, they do this sand mining. You get some big man, oh, they handle the people in this community. But some man, they, most of them, they handle the protect sand mining. All right. So what, in the, what do you think, say, as a person where they live now, your environment, your surrounding, what are you supposed to do for, say, your environment fine and good for your stay? Well, I think say, we all they live in this environment, and we all they are. We for protect the environment to not for dumb other people in the cap weather and we all they are we for make sure say we be number one security them. We for always take care of the environment to not for look to government. We self be able to stand and stand strong and protect the environment because if we probably come, now we possible be missing them. So what thing will be your message to the people of Laka community about protecting your environment? Okay, my message, I want more with all stakeholders, the youth, everybody for come together, more we stand firm for protect the environment. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Hello and welcome to this interview. Do I tell you your name and which environment today? Oh, my name is Ishmael Lumbia. 
Well, I live in Alaka community. Yeah. You live in Alaka community. You will tell me how much years, how long you don't take in Alaka community. Well, um, basically, I'm um, I'm um, past twenty years now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm a man of Laka. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're a man of Laka community. So, based that you know somebody who don't born in Laka community, what do you understand about protecting the Laka community? Well, like for instance, um, I believe the don't give them the really, um, really, um, uh, with the good people are really in Laka. Um, I believe the they face some good things there. You know? Um, when I'm in a nice, um, environment um the place is so very nice so i believe say um with the face and the good things they are right. yeah the environment's nice so is it that you know, they get any form of disaster in the environment where you know can affect you know, and okay lake well like as i just mentioned just now um we area at the beach area because like for instance we um we get um um a fall of water because where the water goes on the whole now we are on the beach and it can extend to now we now we are building it yes it gets affected um again through the flooding again we do um we get um so much water rainfall um it affect the area again all the um the the houses then they get so um some this week can happen or during the rain season can happen or is it like you happen also during the rain season? During the rain season. Yeah, during the rain season. You ask youth man, what you know the youth man can do for see that on a spread message to people around about protecting the environment? Well the only thing is that um we just tell we 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 uh, we the colleagues, the people in is that um this thing or so we happen like for example the flooding, um we they get um affected um, I just go inf um, get, and get for inform, get for inform the um, the colleagues there, people and let them be careful because this is not, um, a um disaster like they get affect them through the uh, we environment, we houses them, all the things them. So we just get for put um, um things and mentions in place for all we get protected. Alright, so what's now the message now you they send to youth them out there of the Laka community? Yeah, I just want to tell me call um you the the community, um let we just be Focus and be always, um, let me say, be protective because all these things, um, because now flood like unexpected something, just the fall, um, we don't know, you know, we are just give a focus and be prepared, um, all the things that we can happen, that we just put them um, in the place. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, thank you too. Hello and welcome to this interview. Go please tell your name and the community where you live. My name is Dennis Bundu and I live in Alaka community. How long you don't take Nalaka community? For, since birth. Wow. Since birth. Alright, so you don't deny the Laka community since birth. What do you know you understanding about protecting the Laka community? Well, um protecting the Laka community, me understanding, me view when we see. Now for see how best we will save this community, we will be last week, take, take generation yet on born, come and meet and back and safe for people and where they come next. Tell us some of the things that if you say, as possible where they live in a community can do, we can destroy the community. Well, um, plenty of things that they really. One, this cutting down of trees, where we people can use for make money or one way or the other, say one pay school fee for picking or that thing that they. Done this illegal sand mining, of course, where they cause so many destruction right now for we in this community. And of course, the one themselves where they pull stone, pull stone up the hill. Cut stick them. All that one day they give you so much problem. And then plenty, Boku day. Boku Boku one. Plenty that can happen at the Laka community. Yes, and they happen like every day, every hour, every and minute. You go now. You go the, now, you go meet them there. So, what are some of the measures where they don't put in place for see that anything they also stop? Well, the authorities them don't try for like relate with the, the security personnel them. But what we they see, sometimes the way the youth can give up with self for go stop. Because the people that we can do this, not to actually people that we born now, they can come off far. So if the structure happens, they can go back. But the police then now, the security officers, and they join with them people and they, so like we get them challenged and they. But sometimes the we self can try, we're not able every day, we only get paid and thing and they. So. 
I'm actually not somebody way born and raised in a like a community. So what are some of the good things then you know where you know about your community you go like for share? Well um peace with people and our people are with peace of mind. They lack stranger them. Any time we stranger they come, you go see them they with them together and then thing and they so like that love. If one person get problem, now everybody in problem. If one person get program, now everybody in program. So like now one good thing and the way me like for my community. Alright, we don't talk to plenty of people where it's concerned, say one great challenge when they get get for do it flooding during the in season. So like you know flooding are something where they happen unexpectedly to somebody. Una ask you to man the way that can happen unexpectedly, what una can do? Well, um, one thing we can try first for identify what thing cause this flooding, the, the present thing we cause them. And one thing we observe, this road we see as construct up here, yes, the drainage system then just direct them down to the community and they not create no way for a way like it will go di direct to the sea. So the water just they come down, but don't, this dirty, it's plastic. People and they control them. So what we can do as young people we can mobilize ourselves there in the rains. One one Saturday, we go around the community, gather them plastic, then they put them one side. So yes. But for any time we relax, we they get flooding. Any time we relax in that we they get flooding. So what is gonna be your message to people out there about protecting your environment so that you know will end up forget disaster? Yes. Well, me your own message to people out there. Let them try for listening, waiting the master savvy people about environment, they tell them and advise them. Let we therefore be hypocrites. There are times they can carry the message, but we know say we did in the act and they we go make all kind like lie 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 business talk. But not to that really they happen. So let we stop this hypocrite and let we listen the advice we then go give you. Now that's me get. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Hello and welcome to this interview. You go please tell me your name and the community where you did. Well, my name is Famata Kamara. I did not like our community. All right, Famata, what are you understanding about protecting the Laka community so that disaster no go can the community? Well, let us stop for the, we they take Sansan at the beach. Okay. Because we're doing the rain season, water flop now this street here. Because maybe they sell now, cook, we cook, we cook, we sell. Water job can inside the veranda, now the water reach me. My pot there all sink. I go inside the water for go pull the pot there. Up now you yeah. Yeah. So I go inside the, the water for go pull the pot them. Now in that bubble they they call anti jan. They can't snap me. He post them. Now so now they laugh me. No more. I see the water don't overtake my this environment. Do it inside my compound self. Inside my Monday. The water they boss inside the room. They take places one low now the compound. They go behind the gate. Pass with the boss boss the wall. For the water get good for for pass. So if you say this is a result of where people they collect sand from the beach? Yes, now the result is there because they don't take sand at the beach. Flooding now will take place at the, 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 the land. Right. But when you take sand at the beach, now make flooding they take place all over the like, water, they flop. Right. For cross, maybe we're not able to cross. During the rain season itself, disaster will take place back. Fire, we want catch now. We want to rip and build water, water business, people, they use gas, have gas, fire, catch now. Pass, we left water for so bail, we go for the fire. So then they, they, they destroy the community. Okay. They destroy the community. Water flooding, they take place. Water for better. So then they all look out. Coal. Okay. Coal, they pull we, we houses them. All side they pull, they damage. Okay, so when that incident will happen to you, you try for meet with an Edman or anybody where, you know, a parliamentarian or anybody where, not somebody. No, not not the, but we Edman know, but right. enough of that. See, water, they take place in a pool. Okay. They, 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 they houses them. Like inside, so we are so. Even the parlor, the parlor flopping with water, the bathroom, the room, also flop with water. The behind gate, we're not, we're not able for, for open it, lock okay. the water in power. All right. So in the ambog, it affects women in this community. Okay. This so, so what's going to be your message now to people, especially the one the way they collect sand from the beach, where that can end up for be disaster, so we bring disaster come now, we're not What's going to be your message to them? Well, the message to them, because if we talk, try to tell them, they say they're not going to work. They're not going to try for pool money. So now make them go take sand at the beach for let them sell, for let them get money. So they beg you now, if you get away for help, let them help them, let them get work, let them get side for 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 all money, let them let for take sand for destroy we 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 house this them. Alright, so this means you're not able for identify them people then they? Not me, when I come I don't sleep. Because I never think do that avocado, because next time I don't sleep, I need lie. 
I know go go ask for watch for the one they stand and death. We don't come around sleep. So we don't go identify them. All right. So what thing go be last words of you as them? So be you as them. Yeah, I made them try for help them. They were young brother them. Let them get outside. They attach themselves. Let them try for let them left for touch this and stand. Now the beach they left for destroy the houses them. And then no mommy get for tell. Let them try for work. Let them put them side for work. We say they earn money. So let them try for put them there. They are help them. Mommy, let them try for help them. Let them stop for take some sand for destroy the houses. Then, okay. yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, ma. Hello, sir, and welcome to this interview. Me and Kona Sisi from Sierra Network. Do please introduce yourself. Hello, ma. Good afternoon, Mr. Williams, Laka Community. Sir, um, what are your position at the Laka Community? Well, me and Mr. Matthew M. Williams. I mean, the Education Committee Chairman, Deputy Chairman. Yeah. Um, as Education Committee Deputy Chairman, what you going to do for help educate the people in the Laka community about environment protection business? Well, before this time, we don't do a lot, a lot of things, especially uh, related to COVID-19 thing, then we, uh, government, we don't put a do. See? We don't have help for clean the gutter then which are one of the things that will be face very difficult, water, flooding, and all that thing will take place. But due to letting and the way government may not put on a do, or don't do something like they will clean the gutter them. They will sensitize people then about their dirty business. Because dirty is one of the things that we they have for even other sickness minus COVID-19. We will say we know they advise and even educate other people then concerning this dirty business. So we don't do a lot of things that we at least, we don't push one way or the other as a community. So how can you tell like, for the people of Laka community during the rainy seasons? Well, uh, it, it is so difficult somehow because if you look now, the hill side, the top side, because whenever something is happening on the up top side, the rain, it really they come heavily. The flooding will take place. And a lot of things then, in the, in the poor, as you said, the water then at the seaside. So all the water from the heat, heat up, they come down. So one of the days I say we have been rain come every fall, I mean destroy some part of the the, 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 the village, which of course unless uh, somehow we we bust the wall then so that the water escape. So some of that thing and the human activity accessory. I mean they discuss, I mean they destroy some part of the village. It's like the one that they don't. Human activity, they destroy part of the, the village. Yeah, exactly. But then, what in Unadon they do for see that their activity has to come to an end? Well, uh, we don't the series of every uh, other NGO. They can they kind of they sensitize we, but it's somehow difficult because why? We as a community, we say they push one way of the other, but we need the backing of the government. Oh. Whenever they say this, then they may say this, now government, I say. Oh. So, like the top is then. But if we don't say, okay, this is not the boundary, so people don't go, go above that level. Okay. So but we don't talk, but the voice, not they go as much as that. So we need government back up. So that when they say this, then they see the reality which the government will implement. Okay. So that's in and they so. All right. You know, when you talk about cleaning the environment and taking care of the environment, you get for do more with use them because yes. now they can see that anything that they happen at the environment, how I can do for collaborate with the youth them now the community for see that the environment clean and also is well taken care of. Well, that is another heavy tax. In our own days when we are youth, I will, we, we are voluntarily committed. But nowadays it's not easy. But one way or the other, we get two, three, they way with the Kajuden. Actually, they're active, and they help with for them with clean the environment. And the boys attempt pass with good some intensive, one way or the other, to motivate them so that we for doing. But somehow, it's still difficult. Not all the big be on board. But for our own village, a good number of them can turn up right. for them to shed work. All right, so what are some of the good things that we go tell you about the Laka village? Well, some of the good things then, one, I screwed on it me so. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I don't come back to school. It's one of the good things that they do. They meet me in the class where they teach. I believe, say, as government, we don't advise to don't come back. Then we are going smoothly. We go smoothly, no problem. The other sectors, then they see they maintain themselves. Then even COVID-19, pre preventing laws and other things, we are still observing them. Okay. So no problem that side. Okay. Yeah, good thing. Then the, then the beaches area, Everything is okay, nothing. The only thing now, 
they like before you know they live before they run away people in the camp for let the village become lively but alaka as whole we need to maintain okay. yeah let me talk about the beach area, okay? When you get for talk about environment protection, you know, one beautiful thing about Sierra Leone with beaches. So what you got to say about the beach in Alaka? Well, the, the beach in Alaka is a natural view to tourism. But at times, the, like, the seaweeds at times destroyed almost a week or two. At times, when the seaweed they come, they destroy. Unless... At times, we use some of them use that again for dump just in there for loss the surface of the so that the, the natural surface will show. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 we really do well that side day. We they maintain because we must expect two, three people there at the end of the weekend. They must come for, for, for do any, any other lo, lo, um, weekend activity. So we they take care of it. If you go there, you can foresee that people are also there maintaining. They are all set up. They are all part of it. All right, people are there maintaining the beach. So I want to see that then people are we to put in place for see that the beach always clean and well to do. Actually, they do their work well. Well, they too we will forget the other thing then, so that way they will dump them. They they we make this. Yeah, you know, we they sensitize anyway. Somehow they teach them. We they sensitize them. Have to go about them, so that way them this they have to keep the other thing they are. I would have said we're not going to be affected with the customer the way that they come. Right. Yeah, always. They say they sensitize themselves among themselves. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's going to be your message to people out there about protecting their environment? Well, my, my own message as a senior uh, committee member, okay. one of the things we will find are very difficult concerning this environmental issue and the dirty business as a whole. Because we don't need to try our level best. We don't need to try our level best. But people still not to take the message to themselves. They not even for maintain they not even for practice. I tell them, after we done the clean, we done the clean maybe one or two days. When they see again people that they take dirty, then they kind of put on a treat, then they go dump on a school compound, then they dump on a public places. This they affect our our activity. And really, so one for really tell the, the Laka people there. As so we all day and we get for protect yourself. If we not maintain this dirty business, uh, well, we're not going to be able to live eh, that the environment as part of we, because social story now we are part of the, eh, the community, uh, the environment is part of us. So if we not maintain the environment, they will be affected by the environment. So I they tell me, people that are like, uh, that really let will take this dirty business serious. When you get dirty, put on a bag, you put it somewhere else. Motoka in the car every day, almost every day. Except in the weekend, we get my salary all the way here. I believe say that is 2,000, 3,000 you. If we used to that, it way for maintaining the cleanliness of Laka. So the message, and they talk to the all. Do you allow yourself to take that, that venture as a country, as a good citizen of the country, so that we for do one way or the other for help the government and we self as a citizen. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you too. Viewers, Una Sef don't listen to a representative for the Laka community aid man, the one way now the chairman for the beach bar, and also some people where they reside in the Laka community about some disaster where they happen in the community where they're not glad about, and also some of the good things and where they enjoy as people the way they reside in the Laka community. The message when they send to people them out there about how for take care of your environment so disaster no go come meet you now you do not. May bring the program come to you today. My name is Nakona. As you say, till we meet again to another edition of Talk to the Camera, I say, ta-ta.